Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our top five budget elf commanders. So I'm switching it up a bit. I'm uh, kind of mixing and matching my shows here. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute, but all of these are cards are under $1. That includes the commanders and the picks for the 99. So yeah. Elf Kindred theme. So this is one of the original creature types. This is meant, uh, this means there are over 30 years of elf cards to draw on. They are one of the strongest. They're considered the top five strongest, um, or in the top five, I should say. And yeah, they just have like a little bit of everything. If you need a kindred that can do just about anything, go with the elves for sure. Because um, they just, they got so, so much. It's crazy. Even trying to narrow down the list is like brutal. I did 10 of these for changelings. I did three. Three videos on changelings. I did 10 on elf, if that tells you anything. Again, this is kind of a crossover episode. So I'm doing my budget kindred, which is one of my main series, and my budget commander, which is my uh, another series. So I'm kind of mixing and matching here. Um, but yeah, the for the budget kindred, of course, elves. There you go. Budget commanders. We are doing the commanders, and we also do the picks for the 99. So I give you three cards to kind of get your deck started for the 99, and all of these are under one dollar. So the commanders, everything. So for four bucks, you could get a pretty good start for a deck if you wanted to. Anyway, please hit like and subscribe. It makes such a big difference. This channel is still getting started up. Um, every time I get like an encouraging. Uh, comment i just got another one it really does make a difference it really makes my day so uh, yeah any kind of feedback is good though so yeah whatever <laughs> i guess you don't have to post something nice even but anyway yeah please hit like number five it's durden uh, durden I mean, that's one thing i read a bunch of the novels so i don't say the word out loud or the name out loud Drizzit? Drizzit? Anyway, I feel like I'm always saying it wrong, but okay. Three Selesnia, so green-white. So this is a Selesnia commander, and he has double strike. A double strike, three, three, four, five. Mm. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, you create a legend, uh, Gwen Hanvar, or Gwenvar. I don't know how to say that either. A legendary 4-1 cat creature token with trample. I'm realistic, I can't say any of these words out loud. I've read like 12 of the novels and I don't know how to say anything. Ah, fun. Anyway, so basically, uh, as soon as he comes in, this is, he's a 3-3 three, three with double strike and then he's gonna make a 1 or a 4 or 1 with trample. So that's a uh, 7 total power and 5 or 4 total toughness on the board for 5 mana. That's pretty good. Whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Dritz's power, Drizzit's power, whatever. Put a number of plus one, plus one counters on Dritz. Drizzit? Anyway, equal to the difference. Okay, again, this just says creature. Creature, not creature you control. Doesn't have to be your creature, just any creature on the battlefield. If it has higher power than um, him, we'll say him, he gets plus one, plus one counters. Just every time automatically uh uh whoa okay double strike and plus one plus one counters this is a voltron commander if you haven't figured out yet this is very quickly going to be uh getting into danger territory for your opponents remember he only needs what is it with double strike he needs 11 total power he starts with three so if you can give him even a few plus one plus ones from creatures dying throw an equipment on him you're pretty much done Right? This is going to be the end of the... You're going to start one-shotting people. Okay, so, yeah. Voltron, plus one, plus one counters. Selesnia loves plus one, plus one counters. So he is right at home in his color identity. 21 cents only. Ooh. I played against this. It's brutal, okay? I have lost against this card. Oh, so, oh, here. I should. Reluctant role model. One and a white. Okay, for this 2-2. Two, two. This card is insane. I ordered a whole bunch of them because I'm like, this is going to be like a $20 card in no time. 
basically, you know, Ozolith, which is like a $40 artifact. This is like a better version of Ozolith, except it's a creature, so it can get taken out more easily. But, oh my gosh, a better Ozolith for under a dollar. What? Anyway, okay. At the beginning of your second main phase, if a reluctant roll now model is tapped, put a flying lifelink or plus one plus one counter on it. So he's just going to be able to get a bunch of counters for being tapped. So if you've got a vehicle, you've got whatever, just tap them to screw the vehicle and then good to go. Or saddle, right. That's the other thing. Whenever reluctant, reluctant role model or another creature you control dies, if it had counters on it, Oh boy. Put those counters on up to one target creature. So every time something with counters on it dies, you just take all those counters and put it on another creature. So if you've got a, you know, a few creatures that have plus one plus one counters on it, if they get taken out, or if you sack them yourself even, you can take all those counters and just put them on Dritz. And then she's going to get to his, uh, you know, yeah, his commander damage very, very quickly, right? He's going to hit 21 very fast. He needs 11 from 3. you got to get 8 plus 1 plus 1 counters on him. And even without equipment or anything, that's lethal. Game. Oh, 39 cents only. Crazy. Okay, next up. Cutzil, Malamut Exemplar. We had him in my Leonin series as well. 1 green white Selesnia. Opponents can't cast spells during your turn. Oh, oh. This is so much better than blue effect. But anyway. Whenever one more creature you control deal um <clears throat> each with power greater than its base power, uh deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So every time your commander gets through and does damage, you're drawing a card. Right? Which should be pretty frequently, frankly. Oh boy. 75 cents only. How is this still under a dollar? I don't get it. Such a good card. Card draw and just like stops anyone from messing with your turn mm, oh boy okay conclave mentor a green and a white celestia again if one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on a creature you control that the many plus one are put on there and when it dies do you gain life equal to its power sure life gain why not the main thing getting an extra plus one plus one counter building plus one plus one counter decks very easy in Celestia, and this is going to like really rack it up. And remember, even things like his his death trigger, he's going to get an extra plus one plus one every time this goes off. So yeah, nah, it's going to be scary. Anywho, twenty five cents only. Oh. Number four, Glissa Herald of Predation. Here's my background art. Three black green Golgari. Oh, here, let me get some tea. Not twinnings, unfortunately, but yeah. I gotta order more twinnings. They used to have it at this one store close to my place. Because I, it seems like every time I buy things, they get rid of them. I swear to God. My burritos are gone now, too. My burritos, why? Anyway. Okay, at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one. Already love that. This is triggered not by attacking, not by her doing anything, not by her tapping, not blah, 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 whatever else. This is just turn. The turn happening triggers her. Yeah, combat happens every turn, right? And it's going to just happen. It is on your turn, I should point out. But anyway, you can incubate, incubate two twice. You make incubator tokens and you put plus two, plus two on each one of them. So they basically, they become creatures if you, yeah, transform them. This is going to make two twos if you want. Two two twos. Transform all incubator tokens you control. So yeah, this is going to let you just transform all of those things that you made. Again, Phyrexians are very good at making these. Phyrexians you control gain first strike and death touch until end of turn. Those incubator tokens become Phyrexians. She's a Phyrexian. Building an Elf Phyrexian deck is... It might sound like they're two different creature types. Maybe it doesn't mix. It does. It does. Building a Phyrexian Elf deck is cheap and powerful. 
and she's just going to keep setting off everything every turn. I also like this because it's like, if you need to get the incubator tokens, she does it. If you want to transform them, she does it. If you want to get to your end game, if you want to start, you know, attacking and, you know, getting getting your first strike, death touch is such a crazy good combination. It's just removal, right? Removing threats. Then you can do that. Um, 50 cents only. Oh, yeah. Okay. Better, or sorry, Glistening Dawn. Uh... Kind of a creepy name though, I say it out loud. Two green green for this sorcery. You can X incubate X twice where X is the number of lands you control. So again, this is just gonna be a whole pile of those incubator tokens, which is very, very nice. 25 cents only. Tangled Skyline, four and a green. A little pricey for this enchantment, five CMC. When it enters, you gain five life and incubate five. Again, you make one incubator token, put five plus one plus ones on it uh mm -hmm. yeah and you can transform it for two or she can do it right phyrexes you control have reach this is going to shut down flyer decks you don't care anymore right all of your phyrexians which is going to be like a whole mass of these tokens are just going to have reach 15 cents only who gift of completion so one in a black for this enchantment and when it enters the battlefield incubate three incubator token with the three plus one plus ones not bad whenever a fair rex in you control dies surveil one so you're going to get your card sorting right you can look at your cards and you can say which one do i want to keep or which one do i want on top of my uh uh blah, 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 on top of my library and which goes to my graveyard you're always able to sort and because you have Golgari, green, black, you've got a lot of ability to like recur things from your graveyard. Golgari might be the best color combination for like graveyard recursion. So yeah, um, you're probably going to be able to make a lot of use of this, right? It's going to really give you kind of like double the options. It's going to your graveyard is an upside with Golgari, I think. 15 cents? Number three. Oh boy. Cridal of Bar Baldur's Gate. Cridal? Hurdle? Ah. Again, I don't know how to say any of these. Demir, blue black. She's a 1 3. So when he deals combat down to a player, that player loses one life and mills a card, then you gain a life and scry one. Not a huge effect, but really nice. Whenever you attack, you may pay two. If you do, target creature can't be blocked this turn. So you can make anything unblockable you want. There are so many ways to build him. Um, I was looking at focusing on like building an elf strategy. Or sorry, a rogue strategy, not elf. But yeah. Rogue Kindred is very, very, very strong. Because the, the, it has so many options as of late. So yeah. You can really get the most out of it. Um... Again, blue, uh, again, a blue and a black is just a nice casting cost as well. I love the color identity for that matter. Anyway, 20 cents. Okay, so we've got Notion Thief. Two blue black for this uh, three one with flash. If an opponent would draw a card, except for the first one they draw on each of their draw steps. Instead, that's, the player skips that card, the card draw, and you draw a card. So you're stealing everyone's card draw. That's... Oh boy, very nice. Okay. 85 cents only. And Thieves Guild Enforcer, one black only for this one, one with flash also. So when uh, when this or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. So you can kind of go with a mill thing with this. Um, as long as the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, Thieves Guild Enforcer gets plus two, or plus two plus one and has death touch so it's gonna be a three two very quickly right it also synergizes with your commander forcing people to mill so that's quite nice for this rogue halo forger oh sorry 39 cents for that one halo forger we got uh one demir one blue black three cmc for a three one flyer so when it enters the battlefield you may pay x 
If you do, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with mana value extra or less from a graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell will be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. So you're basically going to steal whatever you want, any instant or sorcery from anyone's graveyard, and you're casting it yourself. Um, the uses for that, you just don't even know. Because, yeah, whatever removal or board wipe or whatever trick your opponents use is yours to now. Um, also, you're exiling it by using it, which is kind of doubly useful, where they're not going to do any of the recursion shenanigans with it. So, yeah, 20 cents only. So good. Number two. Oh. Mom, Momir? No. Momir Vig? It's a big visionary. I can't say anything. Uh, three green blue against our Simic boy here. Whenever you cast a green creature spell, you sorry, yeah, he's a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever you cast a green creature spell, you may search your library for a creature card. Reveal it. If you do, put on, uh, shuffle your library and put that card on top. So this is going to be allow you to go get any creature you want and put it on top of your library to draw it right away. Oh boy. And whenever you cast a, a blue creature spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put the card into your hand. Again, if you want, what well, you really want are creatures that are blue and green, right? So when you cast it, first you do the green trigger, you go get a creature, put it on top of your library, and then you blue, do the blue trigger, you draw it from the top of your library and put it into your hand. This is just like a tutor for any creature. Oh boy. Very, very, very... Tutor is such a powerful effect, and this is like tutor any creature you want, anytime you want. Um, very abusable. 41 cents. Quailing or uh, Oracle. Again, all of these, first of all, I will point out, are both green and blue, right? So when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, um, put that card into your hand. So again, you can, if you've got some kind of scry effect or something, you can make sure there's a land on top, and then you can put the land straight into the battlefield, and then you can do your green trigger and then your blue trigger, right? You put the or triggers in whatever order you want. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be card draw or a land straight to the battlefield, or you're gonna be able to like, yeah, sorry. And you're gonna be able to get whatever creature you want. So, or a card draw and that, so yeah. 20 cents, I Inga and Eskia, or Isika? Isika, Eskia? Nah, I don't know, anyway. Two uh, green blue. Simic for a 4-4. Four, 4-4-4-4 four. Four, 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 four is actually pretty good. Creatures you control have Vigilance and you can tap to add in one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. Oh my gosh. So all of your creatures are mana dorks for creatures now. Also Vigilance. So if you don't use them for as mana dorks, you can attack with everything. They don't tap and then you can tap everything to get mana, a bunch of like mana, and then put a bunch of creatures down to actually do the blocking when it's not your turn. Oh. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if three or more mana from creatures was spent on it to cast it, draw a card. So you're gonna be uh, drawing cards on top of like using mana to keep casting these creature spells that are gonna keep drawing you cards that are gonna like, you can keep using for mana. You see this the cycle there. Anyway, one dollar only. Why are you only a dollar? Mystic Snake. One green, blue, blue. Flash. For this two two. And yeah. When it enters the battlefield, counter target spell. A counter spell creature. Especially in Simic, because it's basically gonna tutor out any creature you want on top of that. Four casting costs for that counter spell and tutor anything you want during anyone's turn. Um, oh boy, that's a deal. 86 cents, worth it. Number one. Okay, Izuri Stalker of Spheres. Oh boy, talk about powerful mechanics. Okay, so we got 
a, another Civic one here. Two, green, blue for this 3-3. Three, three. Not bad. When he enters the battlefield, you may pay three. If you do, proliferate twice. Maybe that doesn't sound like a good deal, but oh, whenever you proliferate, draw a card. So proliferate twice means draw two cards. You're paying extra, three extra mana to proliferate two times and then draw two cards. Oh boy. Mm. And anytime you proliferate, you draw a card, right? Anyway, so, yeah, I've already done a budget deck on all the Zuri here. I'm going to try to remember to put it up in the corner there. So if you were to rate mechanics, it would be hard to beat Proliferate. I mean, Tutor is maybe stronger than Proliferate, actually, but that's about it. I mean, Proliferate is so, so strong. Again, you've got, like, building up your units. You can get all kinds of different effects. You can yeah, even get, you know... Put, use infect or poison counters and like I guess toxic infect whatever poison counters and yeah use it as a win con proliferate can very easily turn into a win con so yeah and yeah Simic has plenty of ways to get your counters down Celestia and Simic are both quite good at that anyway 55 cents only Ooh. okay so unnatural restoration one in green for a sorcery. Return target permanent card to you, from your graveyard to your hand. Frankly, there's a lot of cards that do this with a lower CMC, but this one says proliferate, right? In this deck, you're going to proliferate, and then you're going to draw a card after getting a card back from your graveyard for two mana. A green spell that's going to do all of that. Crazy. Okay, 50 cents. Everflowing Chalice. This is just something you should have in, like, every proliferate deck. So yeah, this costs zero technically, but has both kicker two. So it enters the battlefield with the charge counter on for each time it was kicked. Remember, even if you cast it for two, it's only counting kind of tap for one mana. You can add a colorless for each charge counter on it by tapping it. So it's going to tap for one for only two mana, but you're going to proliferate. That that's a charge counter. So every time you proliferate, you're making the extra mana every time. And you also have things like uh, Astral Chronocopia that pretty much do the same thing with Colored Mana or Empowered Auto Generator you can get as well. Which is once again almost the same thing where you're just going to keep building up those counters and keep tapping for more and more and more mana. Anyway, 35 cents. Next up is Magistrate Scepter which is insanely under $1. I don't even get it. 3 mana and it costs 4. Here is probably why it costs 4 and you have to tap it to put a counter on it. So you do need the first counter on it. There's the tricky part, but yeah. If you've got a way to get a charge counter on it without paying that 4, you're all set. You can tap it, remove 3 charge counters from Magistrate Scepter, take an extra turn after this one. So if you could put get 4 counters on this, you can tap it, get an extra turn, then within the next two turns, if you can proliferate three more times, you're going to go infinite, basically. You have infinite turns. Oy, oy. 86 cents for something that can give you just infinite turns. I don't understand. It's not even that hard to do. All right, so first up we have uh, Drizzit, uh, Dritz, Drizzit, yeah, Drizzit, Durden, 21 cents. Glissa Herald of Predation is 50 cents. Cridal of Baller's Gate is 20 cents. Mormig Big Timic Visionary is 41 cents. Zuri Stalker of Spheres is 55 cents. I managed to actually say them. Hey, fun. All right, take it easy.